Nebula should be here by now. If we don't get her on the Milano, we won't be able to translate the Eternity Forge. We have to talk her down. If this turns into a fight, it's gonna get ugly. No! How do I find Peter Quill? I, I, I don't... Tell me, where is Peter Quill? That's what all the ladies ask. Nebula, let her go. You don't need to do this. You thought you could take Thanos from me? What have you done with him, Nebula? Your warning came too late. Thanos is safe now. I cannot say the same for you! Soft, Gamora. You never used to care about casualties. And you think this is a weakness? You still haven't learned anything. <laughs> a little help here? Get me out of this thing! Oh, yeah, okay. Not good. Not good! He will have the burial he deserves. We are not beholden to him anymore, Nebula. That is over. You must come with us now. Uh, yeah. As a prisoner. Nebula, look at what you've done. Of course we're taking safety measures. Get her up. Sorry about the mess. That's the last of it. I don't like knowing Thanos' body is out there somewhere. 
Oh, one thing at a time. Okay, we have to figure out how this relic works before we start worrying about the dead guy. We're running a scan of her cybernetics, but it's taking some extra time. Just to be safe. We need to get Nebula to help us decipher these symbols. Just watch yourself, Peter. She's not exactly happy to be here. Okay, she's definitely not happy to be here. Yeah, I don't really blame her. Her dad's dead, we beat her up, and then she gets locked in her sister's room. She's not having the best couple of days. It is what she deserves for serving Thanos. Rocket may be able to get her arm working again. We could use it as leverage. <laughs> don't bother. We are going to dismantle this cyborg piece by piece. Fear won't work on someone like Nebula. You'll just rile her up. <laughs> good. Not good. She was trained to slaughter thousands. She may hate you, but she does not fear you. She will learn. <laughs> oh, if you say so. I do. Glad you are seeing things my way. Hey. No need for violence here. We can barter with her. Nebula wants her arm back, so let's use that to our advantage. I do not like this plan. You okay to go in there? I... I can't even begin to process everything. I thought I could distance myself. You told me to distance myself. And now Nebula's locked up in my bedroom? <sighs> the irony doesn't escape me. So, here's the deal, Nebula. You've got a bit of a missing arm problem, and I've got a way to fix that. So, you interested in a trade? I'm listening. Thanos wanted this relic. And I know he had you learn how to read these glyphs. That, that's the Eternity Forge. You've heard of it? How did you make those runes appear? I thought it didn't work. I have like zero reasons to tell you that. Like, none at all. I was under the impression you wanted my help. I need you to help me translate them. That's not gonna happen. You think I'd so easily betray my father? We are not all so spineless. I think it would be better for all of us if we just tried to be friends. I mean, this this whole enemies, uh, I'm gonna kill you in the name of Thanos thing, it's, it's exhausting. I don't make friends with traitors. Killing our father wasn't enough for you, you have to rub it in my face too. He raised you, Gamora. He loved you. That was not love, Nebula. And you let this imbecile murder him! You are the reason he's gone. You're the one who ruined my life. Whoa, this is a happy place. There's no need for that kind of name calling. I mean, really, imbecile? Oh, sorry I hurt your delicate little feelings. That's enough, Nebula! You pass judgment on me, on my father, but I know you, Gamora. You may have forgotten Tarval, but I haven't. I'm warning you never, never to speak the name. Tarval, Tarval! I'll get what we need from you, one way or another. You want me to talk? Get rid of her. Don't be ridiculous, Nebula. I have nothing to say to you. I'll make you talk. You know I can. I'd like to see you try. Gamora? You need to leave. What? Now. If I hear screams, I'm not helping you. She never cared about us. The minute things get difficult, she'll be gone. You'll see. Forget about Gamora, okay? This isn't about her. I know what it's about. Star-Lord, the scan found something. A strange device in the cyborg's skull. These past few days, they've been the worst of my life. I lose my father, then you show up and capture me and I'm forced to relive everything. Just leave me alone.
And you can make this all end right now, Nebula. And all you have to do is help me. If that's what it's gonna take. Oh, God. No, what are you, what are you doing? I know you won't take my word for it. So here, it'll tell you what you need to know. You owe me. Thanks, Nebula. I almost... I told myself I wasn't going to be that person anymore. She just gets under my skin. I can't help it. You two clearly have some issues you need to work out. I thought you wanted me to stay away from her. But as long as she's on the ship, I guess you have a point. I see you tried my plan. <sighs> the important thing is we got the, uh, the Kree thingy. So. Oh, that is a cipher module. There are not many left in existence. All right, so how does this work? I think I can upload this to my own translator. Okay, it says... Come find me in the temple. Helpful. God, didn't we find it in a temple? My mom said the same thing when I... Died. But maybe we missed something. We were a little preoccupied at the time. Come find me. Who do you think me is? That temple was completely abandoned when we showed up. Except for all the dead Novacore bodies that Thanos put there. It's... Gotta be... Whatever is... Sending me these visions. I hope you're right. Then we can find out why you're having them in the first place. Exactly. Let's get moving. We're going back to the temple. Where's Rocket? We're almost there. I have not seen him emerge. Hang on. I'll call him. Hey, Rocket, we need you up here. I think you can handle a freaking temple without me. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Well, Rocket is in no shape to guard Nebula. Someone's got to stay back and keep an eye on her. I will stay behind to guard the prisoner. Um, hang on. No, you won't. I am not leaving him here with her. You heard him before. He wants to rip her apart. I did say that. She's my sister, Drax. Does this mean you're volunteering, Gamora? Yes. I'll guard her. No! You cannot be seriously considering this. You trusted me enough to take me to Hollis' ship. Trust me now to watch over my sister. Nebula is my responsibility. Your record on that matter is questionable. Drax, you'll guard Nebula. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Star-Lord. I will not let you down. This is a mistake. It's not personal, Gamora. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. 